everything we need for holiday craft night edition two <laughs> is in these stack of bowls. So you guys were with us when we did our dollar store run looking for our supplies for our original craft and we stumbled upon these and couldn't leave them there. So this is our second bowl craft for the year. So we're really excited. We just need a handful of things. I'll show you really quick. So some hot glue. We did not get those at the dollar store. Some flowers, some twine rope, which we did also get at the dollar store. Some garland. And here's our other, we have extra twine because I wasn't sure how much we were gonna need for that. And then we have some cute bells. So we're gonna use like the garland and the flowers and the bells to decorate the top. And we're just gonna kinda make it up as we go along. And then the bowls are gonna be similar. The ornaments. Yeah, the ornaments. Similar yeah. to our other craft. We're gonna clean them up with the stickers and we're gonna glue them together. So stick around for the finished product. We're gonna get to work. You girls ready? Yeah. Yeah. All right, let's do this. We have one of each of the bowls because we're going to drill a hole in the top of each one so that we can feed our rope through and make like a hook to hang it on a branch on a tree outside. So we're going to drill the hole and then I'll show you what we're doing with the rope after that. So we're just gonna kind of figure out our length and tie off a knot on the inside so the rope will not pull back through. So we're gonna feed it through and then tie a knot on the inside so that this will stay and become the anchor. Just kind of tie a simple, simple knot. I think that'll do the trick. It's not gonna be very heavy. So we're gonna leave it like that. And then out here, we're gonna figure out what length. We decided we're gonna tie a little knot up here on the outside with the rope to make the hook. And we're gonna hide it with some decoration so that way our hole on top of the ornament didn't have to be too big. So I'm also thinking we might wanna hot glue around that so water can't get on the inside. This is probably good enough to get over a tree branch. So, let's see, where do I want to cut it? Think about that. I don't know, just kind of winging it. We don't have exact plans. You can adjust for where you want to hang yours, but I'm going to hang mine on a maple tree, so I'm thinking that's plenty. So we're going to cut here. Might need better scissors. <laughs> All right, we're going to cut there. We're just winging it. I think that'll work. I think that'll work. It doesn't have to be perfect because we're going to hide this, like any imperfections up here with decorations on the top. So that'll do for now. We'll see how it goes. This is our first oh, wow. one. So we might adjust the design as we go. Disco ball. So next, up next, we're going to start gluing. Gorilla glue for quick dry and then hot glue around to keep it all together.
So we, I took a couple of bells and tied them on each end of this just leftover wrapping paper string for each one. The idea is to use these to hang around the ornament to help decorate it. So we'll see how that goes in a minute. So mommy's gonna go around with this green stuff. I'm just gonna put a blob of glue to get this down. And if I don't burn myself, it will be a miracle. to hang these up, it's gonna be adorable. we decided to add two new DIY ornaments to our collection, including one filled with other colorful ornaments from the dollar store. Don't forget, we'll link similar items in the description below in case your local dollar store doesn't carry the items in this video. All right, so if you like what you saw, let us know if you have other ideas for dollar store hack crafts that we should try to pull off. And give us a like and a subscribe to Sunshine and Happiness. Um, like this.